Gators, Sonny Reedy is kind enough to join us here on this Monday. And Coach, hey, thanks so much for your time. Uh, welcome. How are you doing on this Monday? Yeah, everything's great, Paul. Appreciate you calling. Ah, uh, yeah, everything's got to be great. I mean, you got an eleven and one team going, and congrats on the district. I mean, you went out, beat Florida High five one, then knocked off Taylor County as well, uh, both on the road uh, last week. Just talk about those wins. Well, I think it was, um, you know, we've been on the road quite a bit already this year, and uh, to go down there and, and Florida High is always a tough place to play. Uh, tried to tell the kids it was going to be a one-run game before we ever got started, and uh, somehow, some way, we found a way. We held on. We, we uh, won five to one. Uh, Griffin really started the game, didn't have as good stuff, got us through the third, and then uh, Mitch Cagle came in and, and really looked well on the mound and uh, did an outstanding job for the final four innings and uh, got us through that. Um, and then we went down to Taylor County the next day and played there and uh, just found a way to win. You know, we were up 12 to nothing at one time and then let them get back in the game a little bit, 12 to 5. And uh, But we ended up closing the door there at the end and getting back on the bus and getting home. So. <laughs> wow, you got an 11-1 and record. I mean, did you expect this here uh, at the start of the season to be this successful? Well, I, I did expect us to be very competitive, uh, to be in, be in just about every game we play in, uh, with all the seniors we have on the team. Uh, uh, I did expect us to be in the games. I didn't expect us to be 11 and 1. Uh, I think I told the kids, uh, before we started, we 17 and 8, and a little gritty in the end. I think we, we'll be right where we need to be. So, uh, they, they played well. They keep finding ways to win. Uh, just competing and, and, uh, been a lot of fun to be a part of, I can tell you that. What have you, uh, learned about your team so far this season? Well, what, you know, <laughs> from the first game to now, I mean, they, they just don't quit. You know, they keep battling. Um, sometimes the, the guys on the mound have the good stuff, sometimes they don't, but, uh, the guys at the plate can continue to battle and the guys that come in, uh, on the mound have, uh, come in and thrown strikes. And, kept us close and gave us a chance to win a few games that uh, could have gotten away from us and uh, they're just resilient man I think they you know it seems like they all love each other and go into battle each day and that's about all you can ask you know keep, keep battling it's baseball you're not going to win them all just talk about the pitching uh, you know the, the the players who have been performing and uh, I know uh, your son has been pitching very well as well yeah, he's done well. He's um, he's three and zero right now on the mound, but he's uh, let's see, he's he kept he keeps you in the game. You know, he's not a power guy, but he can uh, he keeps you in the ball game. Throws a lot of strikes. Uh, I think tomorrow night we're going to see Big Donnie uh, Ben Wall on the mound. Uh, he has really come into his own the last couple games. Uh, being able to mix and match a little bit, really excited about seeing him pitch uh, uh, on the stage. Uh, J.C. Carroll, another senior, um, left-hander. Um, he'll get he'll get some opportunities this week to pitch too. He's been very good on the mound. I think he's thrown 12 innings, got 15 strikeouts. Not a power guy, but knows how to pitch also. Um, uh, I mentioned Mitch Cagle earlier. He's been kind of a Set up closer guy for us uh, coming in the last couple of innings and, and has really done well. Um, so I'm looking I'm looking for us. Big week big week for us. Not only do we have the Tuesday night at the Wahoos, and then we turn around and play Wednesday against Pace out at UWF, and uh, and we have the Milton Panthers on Friday. So it's it's a uh, it's a busy week this week. Yeah, just talk about the mood. Okay, let's start tomorrow night. Blue Wahoo Stadium, uh, renewing the rivalry against Gulf Breeze. What, what's the uh, mood like right now, you know, with your team that you're going to be playing in one of the nicest ballparks in, in the entire country tomorrow night? Oh, I think they're, they're, they're beyond excited. I think it's going to be a great atmosphere for, for Pensacola. I think it's great for these kids. This is all about the kids, man. This would be, Memories they'll, they'll they'll have for the rest of their lives, you know. Uh, not many people can say they've gotten a chance to play down there and to play against some 
uh, team that all these guys have grown up together playing each other since they either playing on the same team or playing against each other since they were seven, eight years old. Uh, I think it's going to be electric there. So it's a, uh, it's going to be an awesome time for the kids. It really is. Well, Wednesday night, you, you, you added this game, right, over at University of West Florida for pay. I did, yes. We had a team from Kentucky uh, drop out that was scheduled to play us, Pace, and Pine Forest, and uh, talked to uh, Coach McBride, and we decided, uh, just tried to figure it out, and Coach Jeff Coke was nice enough to let us uh, schedule a game out there. Um, that's another great experience for these kids to play on two big stages, uh, back to back nights and, um, just, you know, it's just going to be a lot of fun this week. Might not get any sleep, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. You, you, you know, your, your kids got an opportunity one night to play in a, in a double A ballpark and the next night, you know, in a, in a division two college ballpark on Wednesday night. Now, Hey, so are you going to be playing them three times then this season, or is this a game being moved up? Or will you no, this is yes. We will can, we will play them three times this year, and uh, I think I think Coach McBride said it the other day in the paper. I saw that uh, uh, you know our kids would love to play them once a week, just like they would love to play us once a week. I think it's great competition, and uh, uh, once again, you know, the, most of these kids around here have, have grown up playing against each other, and now the to be able to do this on a, on a bigger stage is, is got to be fun for, for all of them, parents included. Well, share it with us. What do you know about Gulf Breeze? Because this is always a big rivalry, no matter what sport you play them in. Absolutely, and I think uh, you know Gulf Breeze has a lot of talent, a lot of great kids, uh, a lot of great parents. I think it's going to be a, uh, I think it's going to be a great ball game. I really do. I mean, they have some, they have a lot of talent over there. Coach Rick does a great job with those guys. I know they love him, uh, uh, and just looking forward to. Uh, you're looking forward to that first pitch coming, you know, so uh, we can we can uh, get things rolling. Well, Coach, I know you talked a little bit about the pitching. Why don't you talk about your hitters who have been hitting the ball well so far for you this season? I'm sure you got a lot of them to reel off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we have hit the ball extremely well. Um, I think we're hitting 404 as a team right now, uh, but it's been a combination of uh, you know, a lot of different guys. Uh, a third baseman, uh, Brent e. Smith, he led our team in hitting last year. Uh, has it played extremely well defensively for us also. Uh, he's hitting over 450. Uh, Carl Gendel, uh, leadoff guy. He's a special kid. Hitting four, uh, he's hitting over 470. Uh, and Ben Wise hitting 455. We've also hit about 11 home runs as a team. Um, uh, Matthew Estrada, who's our number two three-hole hitter, according to what night it is, uh, he's hitting about 450. Um, and uh, second baseman Donovan Wibbs, he, who's always been a hitter since he was born, I think, he's hitting around 400. Um, so we got a lot of different guys in the lineup uh, that can that can swing it a little bit, they can run a little bit. So um, you know, the whole difference is catching it and pitching it. So uh, I think that, uh, and we've getting been getting a lot better defensively. Last question before we let you go, Coach. What do you enjoy the most so far, being the, the head baseball coach at Catholic uh, this year? Well, Paul, I think just uh, watching these kids grow up and learning and then uh, playing with each other and getting better and, and uh, just it's been a lot of fun. There's not a day that goes by that I, I don't look forward to going out there with these kids. Um, and that's that says something about your job, you know. So um, have great parents, great administration, and and, uh, and if I ever need anything, Coach, about it, it's right down the hall for me. So that's even better. So it's all good. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Uh, all the best of luck to you tomorrow night against uh, Gulf Reese. Well, Paul, I hope to see you there, and I uh, hope to see everybody there. I think it's going to be great for everyone. So uh, have a great day, and I sure appreciate everything you do for the kids. Thank you. Appreciate All it. Right. Bye-bye. Sonny Reedy, head baseball coach of the Catholic Crusaders. Coach Sonny Reedy joining us here. It's uh, Catholic Golf Breeze again tomorrow. 
big showcase game over at Blue Wahoo Stadium, 7 p.m., the first pitch. Then they get to play Wednesday night over at uh, University of West Florida against Pace. Of course, we broadcast the uh, first uh, Catholic Pace game. That was a classic game that it turned uh, into being 17-13 win for Catholic over Pace. So uh, Wednesday night over at uh, UWF, Catholic against Pace. So they got a busy week as well, just like the Gulf Breeze Dolphins do on their schedule with a game tomorrow against Catholic. And then uh, big games against uh, West Florida, two of them uh, this week. Monday edition Sports Roundtable Show. Paul Chestnut with you, along with our producer, David Bear. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll be joined by Terrence A. Gross, a local personal injury attorney. He's coming up next. We'll get his thoughts on the NCAA tournament. Also, the Florida State uh, women's team. Uh, big game tonight. Uh, at-